everybody, we're back down here in Albia to shed hunt. Um, we tried a few weeks ago, but there was just too much snow. So it's March 16th. Um, we're just getting started. We made our first push through a big bedding area and was able to find one shed. It looks like a nice up and coming, probably two, two and a half year old, great brow tine. But we've got a, we've got a good group of guys out here. We're gonna push through the whole farm, uh, do some walking this morning. And then this afternoon, we're gonna jump on the four wheeler and hit, hit a lot of open areas and, and some fingers and stuff like that where we know the deer are hanging out. So stay tuned. Well, hey, it's the middle of March and we're out here hunting with Jake today on his farm. and. We just came to a really good bedding area in the middle of the farm. It's uh, got a lot of cedars, it faces the south. Bucks really like to bed in there. We just picked up a really big, heavy eight point, four point side matched to an eight point. But uh, it's a deer that I think Jake would love to harvest this year. It's definitely mature. You can tell by the antler size, the mass and stuff. So we're gonna keep walking this hillside and see what else we can't pick up. Well, it wasn't probably about five minutes after Chad found uh, found the side, to one side of the big 10 pointer. My buddy Eric walked through probably 100 yards or so from where that was at and, and found the other side. So um, we've got a lot of pictures, a lot of history with this deer. And he's definitely not, I, th I figured him at four and a half, but after picking up his antlers, um, I definitely probably say it's a good thing we didn't get him on the ground this year because he's got a ton of potential to be a mega giant on the farm and probably the top of the hit list this year. So we're gonna be watching him close for 2013. Well, another nice find. We were just on the ridge, just over to the south, and we're watching some turkeys run off, and that turkey must have just stepped on this because we saw him running, and, and bam, we saw the antler right away from probably a couple hundred yards away. So pretty easy to spot in this, these overcast conditions out here in these fields, and they're this white. So another great find, so we're gonna keep going. We just wrapped up uh, our shed hunt here in, in mid-March and we found eight antlers today. It was a pretty good day overall. I was shooting for 10, but I think the one thing that um, kind of limits my disappointment with not finding at least 10 sheds is that we found our match set off the, uh, off the wide 10 pointer. So one thing to look forward to for this coming year in 2013 is the wide 10 pointer. I mean, he's a, he's a lot, uh, I guess, smaller than I thought he was. Um, he's a lot younger than I thought he was too. I've pegged him at four to five. I think he's three now. So that's, that's good information to have. We've got a lot of history and we're going to be probably watching him real hard and hunting him hard. But thanks for watching Bones and Broadheads today. And remember, shoot straight and shoot often. Thanks for watching.